is a bottle. And what can you tell me about this bottle based on your observation? Erica? Okay, two different liquids. If I kind of tilt it a little bit, you'll see that even more so. What else? The observation sounds like something that should be easy to do. But coming up with the details of observation is what kids need to learn to do. Mindy? Two different colors. Okay, two different colors. More specifically, we have blue and clear. And where is the blue? On <coughs> top. Okay, and location to there. Okay, so we have blue on top, clear liquid on the bottom. Now, here's the problem I'm having with this. I wanted my blue to be on the bottom. So I thought, well, that's pretty simple. All i got to do is flip it over, my blue on the bottom. I did that, the blue stayed on top. So I thought, well, maybe I didn't flip it fast enough really quickly. Still didn't work. I even tried just turning it on its side. Blue still stayed on the top. I tried shaking it up. And after it mixed for a little bit, the blue went back to the top. So my question now for you is, is it possible to flip my color? To get my blue on the bottom? Any ideas? Did you have an idea there? I did, but I don't. <laughs> or is this one of these things just going to be impossible? <clears throat> it's not impossible. <laughs> but the question is, what happened here? How did the blue Let's back up and discuss a little more of the science here. Um, Caitlin? Um, you the density. That was right, Caitlin. Okay. Ah, so we did something to the density. Density is important. What's density mean to the little kids? What will they say when they say something is more dense or less dense? Sinks. Okay, sinks or floats. Float being less dense, sinking or being heavier is being more dense. So we know that the heavier liquid will go where? More dense. To the bottom. So. If this blue here is lighter, less dense than the liquid below it, is there any ever any hope of getting it to switch? No. Not unless we change the density of it. Okay, now over here, you see that color at the bottom. What's that tell you about the blue on this side? It's more dense. More dense than the blue on this side, right? Or at least it's more dense than the liquid there. Okay, so if I can't change the densities, what must I have changed? Okay, I could have changed the liquid or... Actually, I'm using the same two liquids in both bottles. Changing the color, okay? Here's the way this works. What I have in here, and by the way, um, one of these is oil, one is water. What does oil do? Okay, it floats, it's less dense than water. So over here I have blue lamp oil, okay, and clear water. You can buy lamp oil at Walmart, okay, they sell it in a number of different colors. You can get green, red, blue, whatever. Okay, on this side then, okay, what do you think is on the bottom? If this was clear water over here. <coughs> Water with food color. And that on top is just clear lamp oil. So when you buy the colored lamp oil, they also have the bottles of clear lamp oil there. Okay, so those densities are still the same. The oil is still going to float on top of the water. I just put food coloring in this water over here at the colored lamp oil. Okay. Um, the food coloring doesn't mix well with the oil. You have to buy the, uh, the oil. Another uh, important thing to do is super glue your lids on. Because you don't want the kids opening them because the lamp oil basically smells like kerosene. You don't want a kid opening it and spilling lamp oil on themselves all day because that would be pretty ugly for the whole class to have to smell um, all day long. Okay, so here's another example of a discrepant event that you can use. Questions? <coughs>